what's not unique about MediMan. Um, everything is just amazing, the blood pressures, the pulses. He's got heart sounds and breath sounds and you're assessing like you would in a real patient and you're getting feedback there. You can talk to him, you can you know, really gather true information. You're not just making it up or assuming this or that. That he actually talks and talks like a regular, you know, he doesn't talk like something computerized or something like that. There's it's real verbiage that comes out. <laughs> I love the fact that his lips get cyanotic when he's having uh, trouble breathing. But yeah, because that's real. And that's amazing to see that. My goal for the students was, uh, was for them to experience what that would be really like in a, in a real patient um, and be able to replicate changes in, in heart sounds and lung sounds and oxygen saturations and see if they could kind of put together what they had learned in class and be able to figure out how to take care of this patient. My name's Julie. I'm going to be your nurse today. Oh, okay. Can you help me? What do you need? I just can't get my breath. Well, let's raise the head of the bed up here. Mr. Baker, I'm going to put you on a little oxygen, okay? Uh, yeah, I need something. I, I just can't seem to get my breath. Be right back, Mr. Baker. Okay. Um, last time he had Lasix was at last night at seven. And he just has an order for PO. Correct. Is that right? Yeah. Can we call and get an order for IV Lasix? You want to get another set of vitals? Yeah, I'll do that. We're back, Mr. Baker. I'm going to get a set of vitals on you while Julie's doing some other assessments. Oh, okay, okay. Can you take some deep breaths for me, Mr. Baker? Okay. Is that good? Yep, one more. That was good. Your feet are pretty swollen, Mr. Baker. Oh, yeah, this, this has been going on for a long time. Has it? Oh, yeah. Well, I, we're, we're I have that little white pill I'm supposed to be taking, but my wife takes them instead. Her legs look a lot worse than mine. Oh, I see. Your wife's been taking your Lasix? What's that? Your wife's been taking, is it your water pill? Yeah, that water pill. My wife needs them a lot worse than I do. Well, you need them too, I think. We're going to get you one right now, okay? Here pretty quick. Uh, okay. I talked to Dr. Sue. She mm -hmm. said to go ahead and give an IV for us of mine, okay. 40 milligrams, mm -hmm. and she wants a stat ABG, so I'll go ahead and get that lined okay. up for we'll you. Good lab up here. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I know at home you take a water pill. Uh -huh. We're, we're going to give you that same okay. medicine you in like your IV um, side, okay? Oh, okay, okay. So this is his Captopril. Okay. And I'm drawing up that order that we got for four mils of Lasix. Your blood pressure was high this morning and your heart rate's wanting to go up. This is going to help with that, okay? It's going to bring that down. Let's go ahead and give him his 9 o'clock meds and get Dr. Sue on the phone and see if we can get an order for morphine because his breathing is so labored. For, for um, fear hunger? Yes. What about the four more Lasix too? to increase the Lasix because he hasn't had any change at all. Right. Mm -mm. Tell him his, his stats are not going up. He's still... No. His blood pressure is still high. Um, respers are at 30. So, see if we can give him some morphine. Got an order for Lasix here, so I'm going to go ahead and get this drawn up. We're getting some of that fluid off, Mr. Baker. That's good. Yep, that medicine's a working. We're going to listen to your lungs and see if those sound better. Okay. Okay. Are you feeling a little better, a little easier to breathe? Yeah, much better. Good deal. All right. Yeah, that Lasix is helping getting some of that extra fluid off of you so your lungs and your heart don't have to work so hard. And if your wife needs some at home, maybe we can get 
her to see the doctor and have the doctor give her an order. So she has hers and you have yours. I can't say. No, it doesn't work that way, that good. Then you won't have enough and you'll get in another situation like this. Yeah, we don't want that. That was really bad. Yeah, that's not good. That's hard on your heart. Oh, you know, I'm feeling so much better. You've given him a couple doses of Lasix. How do you know that it, your, what you've done with him, your interventions have been effective? What kind of things do you assess? I know. Okay, I know. Okay. I'm going to reassess his lung sounds, see if, because they were coarse. We could hear the fluid on him. And so what should you hear at the end? Clear lung sounds. Clear lung sound. Okay. His what heart other? rate should decrease. Okay, so his heart rate, went, did it actually go down? Yes, on this? it did. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's more talkative. He's wanting to eat. Um, just communication with him is better. He seems to be less distressed and less anxiety. His anxiety has decreased. Mm -hmm. His okay. mood has improved. I guess the only other thing, maybe, what does his breathing look like? His respers are a lot They're slower. They're non-labor. Yes. Non-labor. Sats went up. Mm -hmm. Oh, his sats, yeah, that's a yeah. biggie. We had him on five liters of oxygen. He's down to two. Okay, all right, good job. Okay. You don't think it's gonna be as lifelike as it is when you walk in here and then you come in and it's, it's almost kind of like, oh, haha, ha, this is going to be fun and it's going to be silly, and it's not at all. It's, it's way more real than you think it's going to be when you walk in here. I felt like the nurse, which was cool. Um, you know, I was, and me and my team, we were responsible for this patient, and yes, we have our docs to rely on, but you know, we had to, you know, dig in our knowledge base, and this man was, you know, in a lot of distress, and we were the ones that were trying to resolve that for him, and that was a good feeling. I learned that as a group here today, we worked as a team. And that's something that's important to me in the real job situation is being able to rely on your coworkers if, if and when you need to use them, need them for your help. It just makes you, it just reassures me that I'm not always gonna have the answers, that it is okay to ask other people for help, that it's not, I'm not just gonna be alone. It's been a great experience. <laughs> I'm glad it's almost over. <laughs> just because I want to be a nurse and doing this today made me, you know, just realize that even more, I guess. That's why we're here. We want to be nurses. Mm -hmm.